Good morning Mars and welcome to another hobby video. Today we're gonna have a look at how to use colored pencils and pigments to weather down this car even more. I've already done some of the pencil work on the right side of the car to help illustrate the difference. So now we're gonna finish off the remaining side. Before you can start working with colored pencils, you first have to prepare the model. You do this by matte coating the model to help the pencil's pigment stay in place. I use both these artist's ones, which I apply through an airbrush, and the stuff that comes in rattle cans. For the colored pencils, I use these Faber-Castell ones. The small sets are maybe three US dollars at the craft store. The longer single brown one is one of their more expensive ones. The color is a bit more vivid, but I don't really think it's worth the price gap. I would personally just stick with the cheaper ones. I use these nice earthy browns, cause that's usually what the color of rust is, and I also use a nice charcoal black, because that just helps define things where I need them defined. I've also got an orange there, but I don't use it in this build much. I start off with the basic brown, and I use it to basically edge highlight the car. An edge highlight is the application of color to the edges of the model to help define its lines and make it more visible from afar. I find this to be a very good way to edge highlight cars, especially Gaslands ones, because it makes sense for their edges to be highlighted by soot and grime. What I'm doing here now is making some rust streaks. Streaks can be tricky with a brush, especially at the Hot Wheels scale, because it can be difficult to get to the level of fineness you need to pull off the illusion of scale. With pencils, I find it is so much easier to make that bald straight line you need for a streak to look like a streak. And I personally find this to be their single best application, making rust streaks. I do my streaks from the bottom flicking up to the top of the streak, because I find that gives you a straighter line. Now, I am attempting to color in a large flat panel with a single color. Pencils can't really do this too well, they tend to pick up the texture, the raised bumpy surfaces, instead of actually filling in the flat area. Which can be good, I like that so I am applying it on the roof and on the hood of the car. And you will see me switch to black at some point here to help darken the areas on those gradients. I also go over some of the edges with the black, just to make those edges even more apparent. The black blends with the previous edge highlight of the brown, and that really helps bring out the lines of the car. I'm happy with the pencil work here, but I still feel that the rust could be heavier than the bottom, so we are going to whip out the pigments. A pigment is a real fine powder that can give you a real nice gradient. Like pencils, they will need the matte surface to cling onto. Unlike pencils, they will cover flat panels up real good. To apply them, I would recommend using these makeup applicators, which you can buy at the health and beauty store or at the pharmacy. Now this powder is coming on looking like Cheetos, but once we apply the top coat, it will dull the color down a fair bit. If you want to keep the really bright orange for a really fresh rusty look, you could try applying it more sparingly so you can afford to not top coat it. It does hold on to there, just don't expect it to stay put if you get the thing wet. I am using AK pigments here, cause they're the ones I have on hand. You can also grind up some pastels and use that, though it takes quite a bit of time. The first time I used pigments was with ground up pastels and it turned out pretty alright. Though these days I find I just rather buy the pots. I will leave in some footage here so you can get a good look at how I apply the pigments.
I finished the application choosing to favor the windows and the bottom of the car as well as the hood and the roof where oxidation usually first happens. I am careful not to touch it too much at this stage because pigments can come off. So immediately after I give it a spritz with the aerosol matte spray. I give this particular brand of matte finish 24 hours to cure before I handle the piece again. As you can see it dulls down the orange a fair bit but keeps a bit of that bite in certain places. What you get is a nice controlled gradient of rusty looking color. If you would like to see how I achieved the rest of this car's look, I have made a series of videos on the steps so far. I'll also link it at the end of the video. Before we go, we will have a look at some of the builds I have used colored pencils on. This modified John Deere tractor has been rust streaked with brown and black pencils. For the tall boy here, I have used brown, black, and orange stencils. Its light color makes most colors come out nice. The nice warm browns also help to break the tall boy's uh, Zaku green monotone. I have plans for this thing's color scheme though. Keep an eye on the videos to see what happens. The underdog gets a bit of rust streaking treatment. It's a unique magenta color makes it so the rust comes out quite easily, so I was able to go just straight uh, orange onto here with a bit of the brown for the highlights. And that brings us to the end of the video. Do consider giving us a thumbs up and ringing that bell if you like what you've seen today. It really does help out. There should be some cards coming up on the screen at some point to show you some of my other videos. And if you'd like a place to hang out and talk Gaslands, there's always the R Gaslands Discord channel. Links in the description. Thank you very much for watching, until next time.